All right, what's up guys? It's Eddie Man Hag with Make Digital Art, and today I'm gonna show you how to create a brush from an image using Krita. So we're gonna head over into Krita, I'm gonna go to new file, and we're going to pick whatever settings we want. I'm just gonna change my background color to white here. It doesn't make a difference. This will be the default. I just had it to black for my last video that I recorded. So I'm gonna hit okay, hit create. And then the first thing we're gonna wanna do is get the image we wanna create the brush from. So we're gonna go over to layer. Then we're going to go to import slash export. Then you're going to go to import layer. Then I'm going to be using this image right here. So I'm going to use the butterfly from this image as my brush. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create a selection of the part of the image you want to use for your brush. So for example, if you have a picture of like a landscape and you want to use trees or bushes or rocks or anything, you want to select only those parts. So I'm going to select only the butterfly here. And I'm actually going to turn off my background layer. You, if you have a transparent PNG G like I have here, as you can see, um, you're going to want to turn off any background layers underneath so that your selection doesn't get the background as well. So I'm going to do that. Make my selection using the outline selection tool on the left hand side of the toolbar. And I'm just going to select what I have here. And since I have a PNG, I can be quick with this, but if you're using a JPEG, or you just want better crisper detail, then you're going to want to take your time, do this a little bit smoother. So for my sake, this is good. All I'm going to do now, once I've created my selection is hit, go over to my brush tool or click B to switch to it. And then we're going to go to edit brush settings on the top toolbar, click that. And then the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have your pixel engine on here. And then the next thing you want to do is in the tabs, it's going to be on auto by default. You're going to want to go over to predefined. So go to predefined, then it'll bring up this menu. And I'm just going to delete the test brush I made before this, just so I could show you guys that I'm doing it from scratch. And all you're going to do, go over to predefined. Like I said, make sure you're on this tab. All these will pop up. You're going to want to hit click plus stamp here to create a new stamp. And this is going to create a stamp using the selection we made. So as you can see here, I have my butterfly. So what may happen with you is what I'm going to show you next is this checkbox, the create mask from color might be checked off and that won't will make your selection grayscale instead of color like we see here. So if you leave it unchecked, you're going to get all the color that you have from your image and be able to use it as is. If you have this checked, it'll turn it to black and white as you can see here. So now if you turn this back off, it should come back to color. But for some reason, some people have this issue, including me, where it doesn't go back to color. So all you want to do to fix that is you're going to hit cancel, go back and do it again. So you still have your selection. You don't have to do any extra work. You just go back to edit brush settings at the top. You're going to go to predefined, go to plus stamp, and now it'll be back to color. So just check that off if you want the grayscale and leave that unchecked if you want the color from your image. So I'm going to hit OK because I want the color. And now we're going to create a new layer on the right hand side in the layers panel. Go to new layer and then we're just going to get out of our selection before we do that actually so we're going to click on any selection tool just to click out of our selection so that the dotted lines go away go to our new layer hit b to get the brush back up and now we're just going to paint in our brush and as you can see we're painting in our butterflies as we wanted and there you go that's all you have to do guys i hope this video helped you out if it did please give it a like really appreciate it helps out the channel thanks so much